Let's have a look at what the MSI MPG Z790 Edge Ti Max Wi-Fi motherboard has to offer. Let's unbox it. Oh, what is that? Oh, check it out. This is a Wi-Fi antenna. Okay. Does it have magnets? Let's check. This antenna can go on top of a PC. There is a magnet there. It's pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. So you just uh, put it somewhere where there's metal. And uh, there you go. It just stays there. And there's also a rubber feet. Very nice. Do you need a new Windows license key like I do right here with my new PC build? Then I have a great solution for you. Over the last three years I've saved a lot of money by buying my Windows keys from cdkeyoffer.com. Allow me to demonstrate. I will be going for Windows 11 Pro. So you just click on buy now. Then use my discount code IVADIM, hit apply, and that brings the price down to $22. After that, you just submit the order and select the payment method you wish to use. I will be going with the safe and fast PayPal payment. So you just press pay now. Once you're done with your payment, you will be redirected back to CDK offer. And that's your order complete. Now you can go to user center. Actually, it will redirect you there where you can just grab your key by pressing view key code, get key, and then copy it. Then you can use your search bar to quickly bring up activation settings, change key, insert that key, Hit next, activate, wait a few seconds and there you go. Now you have your windows activated and ready to use for a fraction of the cost that you would normally pay. Get yours now at the link in the description below. And by the way, you may have noticed that they also have other Microsoft software, including Office 2019 and Office 2016. Don't forget to use my discount code if you want to grab any of those. Are there any other accessories? Oh, it is quite heavy. Okay, so we have a quick installation guide, regulation notice, and some other goodies, stickers. Spare M.2 toolless screws. That is nice. Two SATA cables. I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of adapter. This is definitely a fan connector and this is RGB. First time I see this. But we'll definitely check where this connects to. Oh, check it out. You also get an MSI branded USB stick. This is actually quite nice. Very nice build quality. Metal. And this thing right here is actually pretty convenient. Check it out. It's that part of the cable management that I hate the most. Uh, you know, hooking up all your reset and power buttons and LEDs. But here, Everything is well managed and you just plug this into the motherboard. 
We'll take a look at that in just a moment as well. And now the main act. Let's unravel the motherboard. Take a look at this beauty. This will be perfect for a wide build. There are a few things to peel here. One, two, and three. Have a look at this. That's glossy. And this is glossy as well. Beautiful. Okay, I found out what this cable is for. It connects to Jeff one connector over here. Basically, this connector allows to daisy chain fan to operate with a single cable. You know, for a more convenient building experience, if you are doing an all MSI build. And as for this thing right here, have a look at that. You just plug this in. This is a very nice quality of life feature because I do hate messing around with these pins when, you know, your build is done and you're just trying to complete it, power it on, but you still have to connect the power button. The rear I.O. is absolutely stacked. Take a look at this. Yeah, 2.5 gigabit LAN, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 USB type A ports, 2 USB type C ports, one of which is 20 gigabit per second and another one is at 10 gigabit per second. DisplayPort, HDMI, as well as clear CMOS button and flash BIOS button. And this is the latest and greatest Wi-Fi 7. Additionally, this motherboard is equipped with a good quality audio. And have a look at that. Everything you need to connect your speakers or headphones is right here. There's also a fast USB-C connection for the front panel and plenty of other USB connectors. The VRM is quite strong. This is a 16 plus 1 plus 1 design and it will handle any CPU you throw at it. 14900K, KS or anything below that, no problem. And take a look at that heatsink. It is absolutely massive. Have a look at that. The top one as well. Huge. The CPU is powered by two 8-pin connectors. This motherboard supports up to 256 gigabytes of DDR5 up to 7800 memory. This motherboard also features PCIe Gen 5 slot for a graphics card. And check it out. This latch is a bit thicker than usual, which makes it easier to press if a graphics card is installed and you want to remove it. There's also two additional PCIe slots, a full-size one and a short one. There is no backplate, but the PCB is matte black. So, yeah, pretty nice. And check it out. The I.O. shield comes pre-installed. So, you know, you don't have to mess around with that. There's also plenty of fan connectors. Three at the top, four at the bottom, and one for the exhaust fan over here. RGB connectors are also available at the bottom as well as at the top. You can connect a lot of storage devices to this thing. There's eight SATA ports, two here and six over here. One Gen 5 M.2 SSD slot over here as well as four additional M.2 Gen 4 slots over here. The Gen 5 slot features a completely toolless installation. So you just press this button right here, lift it and slide it out. Take a look at that. Oh, look at that. This is actually quite nice because there is a back plate as well as a thermal pad over here. This is very nice because some SSDs, they do have memory modules on both sides and sometimes they begin to throttle 
if uh, you know there is no cooling at the back but over here MSI thought of it bonus points you don't need a screwdriver over here as well because you just kind of latch your SSD into place and close this let's see how easy is it oh there we go that was quite easy now let's open this up and have a look at other M.2 SSD ports. Just a few more twists. And there we go. You don't need a screwdriver to install these M.2 SSDs too. However, you do need a screwdriver to unscrew the heatsinks. And there you go, that's your one, two, three, four additional M.2 SSDs. Let's screw this back into place. And there we go, the heatsinks are back on. This is one of the coolest motherboards you can get right now, in my opinion, especially if you're building a white PC. It is absolutely stacked with features. And the VRM, it is beefy. No need to worry about that. In terms of pricing, it is currently available on Amazon US for $330. Check the link in the description below if you want to buy one. Here in the UK, I managed to find it with a 360 pound price tag. But who knows, maybe there is a better price available on Amazon at the time when you are watching this video, so definitely check it out at the link in the description below. It will take you to your local Amazon web store. I like this motherboard. And I really hope that I'll get a chance to do an all white build around this motherboard. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.